Good afternoon everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Saturday afternoon, good afternoon, I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 12.45pm. So guys, I went for a walk this morning and everybody seems to smoke vape pipes it's usually the cherry vape pipe uh, smoke and I there's also a very strong smell of varnish coming from the Mercedes Benz building over on the field so I got home and I started to feel sleepy like I wanted to go to sleep so I'm trying to wake myself up to be fair um, I've drunk some water, I've splashed some water on my face, but I feel sleepy. This also used to happen to me as a child. I just used to come over all sleepy. I feel like going to sleep in the afternoon when I was a little kid. So it's bringing back memories of that. Also makes you very vulnerable, doesn't it, if you feel weak and tired. Um... My mother has rung the phone and we're keeping a track of what's going on and what time she's calling. So she's left another message. She said she was going to ring again. She rang 14 minutes ago. My mother did. And I didn't answer the phone and Jennifer is my mother. And my dad's dead. I know I keep saying it, but she dresses like a man for some unknown reason. First, new message. Good afternoon, Janessa. This is your mother, Janessa, speaking from her landline code. Can I wish you a good afternoon, Janessa, thinking of you. Any problems or anything you want to speak to me about, I'm in all day. Okay, bye for now. Of you. This is exactly what my mum used to do when my father took me to holiday caravan parks. Ring me if anything goes wrong, because whenever I rang the police, they didn't do anything. I don't want to run to my mum. I don't want to talk to my mum. Right? I do feel tired. I don't like smoke, I don't like vape pipes, I don't like drugs, and I don't like drinking. And I am having a good afternoon in my flat. By myself. And remember that a vulnerable person can feel vulnerable when they're going outside. And I feel very, very tired. And I didn't feel tired until I walked around that field and came back home. Right, guys, so there's something I want to show you. Um, when I get my Wi-Fi printer with my A4 paper, this is my 10-inch tablet. Um... What I wanted to show you is that I'm on all poetry, okay? All poetry, right? Um, right. I've got 782 poems. So let me show you first. All poetry is the site. I'm just charging this up. It's only on 5%. So, so I'm Sparkling Ember on all poetry. Sparkling Ember. I've got 338 followers. And um, I've got... 782 poem, poems, 782, and I'm going to read you one of 
the more popular ones that's got more likes. Okay, so if we go to Charlie, my old dog, written by myself, Sparkling Ember. Charlie struggles on each day, knowing each day could be his last. He still gets about with his old scruffy legs, sniffing a lamp post or two. His fur is receding, he is bald in places. However, he still barks loudly at familiar places. His teeth are yellow, with a few of them missing. When he lies down, I wonder what he is reminiscing about. He is quite old in dog years now, a true soldier fetching his bone. He finds it hard to eat, so his food is soft. He still loves a cuddle from me, mummy. His tail wags like crazy. I will miss Charlie when his time comes to pass. Memories of him will forever linger in my mind. And Apo Darka has replied, Good poem. I also miss my dog Toby, even though he passed away a good while ago. Happy trails otherwise to you. So I have got 782 poems. I'm not lying. I don't feel the need to tell lies because the truth always wins in the end. And I'm trying to get them published into a real book because all poetry is online and I want a real book. Now I used to work for a book publisher called Alan Sutton in Gloucestershire. Alan Sutton. And I used to bind the books, bind them. If you, the old plastic binding, if I put the bind on the book. So I used to bind books. I started just training there on a youth training scheme way back. Um, well, I was, I was, <laughs> do you know, I've been through a lot in my life. And when I first went to Gloucestershire, I didn't have a job. Um, I would got married and I was six months without a job. And they said that I didn't qualify for any benefit because I'd intentionally made myself homeless. Um, I hadn't intentionally moved my, made myself homeless. I'd moved addresses to live with my, my husband, who is now my ex-husband. So I had to go without money for six months. After that time, I was, I was forced to go to... They forced you to go to work, basically, back then. And basically, they told me that I had to work for £10. I had, I had to go and go on this like work experience for £10 a week which isn't a lot of money when you're working a full-time job is it? £10 a week uh, for work experience back then in the 1990s £10 a week work experience I also had to get buses into Gloucestershire Town Centre so I had to use I had to pay bus fare and I was getting no money. So, again, here we go to the bullying aspect of it. I was working at Alan Sutton's publishing company in Gloucestershire, and the lady I was working with called Wendy, a large lady with lots of makeup that my mother used to wear, so she, my mum used to wear bright eyeshadow, sparkly green and blue eyeshadow when I was a little girl. So this woman that was on the reception desk was a large woman with a load of makeup on her face. And we used to sit together and chat. And she said to Mr. Sutton, she went, 
Uh, can't you give this lady some more money? I mean, she, I know the job centre and that's paying her some money, but couldn't you, uh, couldn't you give her a bit more money to top up the, the, what she's getting? He went, no. No, I can't, he said. He said, she can come and clean out my office with the hoover if she wants. That's exactly what he said. No, I won't give her any more money, but she can come and clean out my office with the hoover. So this bullying and mistreatment of myself has been going on for a very long time. So my ultimate revenge would be to get my own book published. To actually get a book published, but I work for no pay at Alan Sutton Publishing because the benefit people paid me £10. Most people in my life have been stuck up towards me and have treated me like dog shit. And um, that's another story that I've told you, perfectly true, that I worked for, for some months at a job for no pay. At all. So that's another bit of information. So I am trying to get a book published. So I've got 782 poems. They've been kept for a few years now on the old poetry site. I'm going to get them printed off and I'll bind my own book if necessary. But I'm going to make my own book even if I have to pay out of my own money and my own expenses. So what have I been doing so far? I don't know if there's been any post. I'll look in my mailbox when I take Max out for a walk. The weather's got overcast and cloudy and it looks like it may rain. I have had buttered chicken with pilau rice for lunch, so I've cooked my, my lunch, I've just eaten it. I haven't gone anywhere today, I haven't gone into the co-op, I haven't gone out anywhere, I've been in my flat. I don't have children that live with me, I just have my pets, which are it's quite okay for me, company for me. And my mum will not give up. She won't stop. But I used to feel tired as a child. And it makes you feel vulnerable. And, and to, you know? After I walked on the field, I just felt very tired, very sleepy. A lot of strong smells on there. And before I go, I had one question to me. I'm Crystal. Is Crystal your real name? Well, <coughs> no, it isn't my real name. The name that I was given at birth was Janestra. And I changed my name in 2009 to Crystal. And I'm still in my flat and I haven't gone out anywhere today. And I'm a woman. So I still am upset by what happened last weekend. Last weekend, it was a glorious weekend. Really nice. This weekend, it's like... Some sun overcast when it's a bit cooler. So, you know, I wouldn't have wanted to go to the seaside today. But last weekend was such a disappointment. It really was. But there you go. People like to be nasty to me. And instead of, like not joining in with it they like to join in with it I don't know why because it doesn't make them look good by being nasty to me see you later